Welcome to this tutorial where we're going to start creating our asset register in Parish Online. Firstly, I'm going to log in. And you'll be presented with a map of your parish. Parish Online has pre built layers where you can store your asset information. It can be found on the left hand side under the collection Asset Register. If I click this collection, it'll expand the layers and I can see all the different themes I can add to. I'm going to start my asset register by adding some outdoor property and street furniture. So the first thing I'm going to do is zoom into the location on the map where I want to add these assets. You might find it easier to locate your assets by switching on the aerial photography. So I'm going to open the aerial photography collection and switch it on. And I'm also going to change the style of the Ordnance Survey mapping. OK. So to add a feature to the Outdoor Property layer, I'm going to first click on the title to switch the layer on. And you'll see it switched on, it has a little tick next to it. And if I hover over the tick, that tick turns to a little cog icon. And if I click that, it will give me a pop up menu for that layer. And I've got an option here to add a feature. So I'm going to click that, and it opens the feature editor for that layer. Now you'll notice my mouse has turned to a crosshair, and I've got a little blue blob following me around on the map. And the first thing I'm going to do is click on the map for where I want to add my first feature. That's going to be this bus stop here. So I'm going to do a single click on the map. And then in the left hand side, I'm going to add as much information as I can about that feature. So I'm going to first click a category and then select bus shelter. And then type any other information I can about the object. You can add as much information as you have available to you at the time. You can always come back and make edits to this feature later, so don't feel under pressure to put everything in straight away. Okay, when I'm happy with that, I'm going to click Save. And that's now stored in Parish Online. Now I can close the feature editor. And if I click on that point on the map, it brings up the information on the left hand side that I've just drawn in. I've got options to go back into the edit mode, or I can delete the object. I can also add in attachments. So if I expand this panel here and click Add Attachments, I can choose a photo from my File Explorer and that will upload it and associate it with that point. Now this could be a picture, or evidence of damage, or it could be an instruction manual, whatever you like to associate with that asset. You can add as many as you like. OK, let's add a few more. So I'm going to go back to that layer, click the cog, click Add Feature, Let's add another one in. Again, put any information in that you know at the time and click Save. And while I'm in this mode, I can add multiple features in quick succession. So you can see it's very quick and easy to add objects into your asset register. And these are stored permanently in your Parish Online accounts until you need to refer to them again. I can also view the asset register as a list. So if I click on Table at the top, I can then select that layer. And you can see those three records that I've added. 
It also shows me where I haven't added extra information in about those features. And if I wanted to, I can click on them and add them in here. If I ever need to export this information, I've got a quick button down here where I can export all of this information to a CSV file, which opens in a spreadsheet software such as Excel. This might be useful if you need to send this information to your insurer. It's not just points on a map that you can add, you can also add lines and areas to represent assets that you own. One example of that is the walls, gates and fences layer. So I can switch that one on and again click on the cog and go to add feature. And then instead of a single click, I'm going to add a series of single clicks on the map to make up this line. And as you can see, the line follows me as I move the mouse around. I can double click for my final point, add the information in I want, and click save. And another example is with an area, say for example a piece of land. Let's switch to the land layer here. And then again do a series of single clicks on the map. And then click on the first point I clicked to close this shape. And then again add the information on the side and click save. Okay, hopefully you'll find this introduction really useful to get started with your asset register. Parish Online has become an invaluable tool for helping parish councils store their asset information, as well as many other things. If you would like any help or have any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us, we'd be happy to help. Thank you for watching.